The computer anime film Ratchet and Clank. This movie is boring, it's bad, and quite frankly, playing the video games is a lot entertaining than watching this movie. Yeah, I had stayed away from this film for the last couple of years because I have heard how awful it is and after watching it, I have to say this movie is a large waste of time. So basically, this one, it retells the story of the first Ratchet and Clank video game. Ratchet, he is rejected from joining the Galactic Rangers. And soon he is thrust into an adventure where he meets Clank. And from there, it's one of the most mediocre animated films I have ever seen. You know, I really couldn't get any enjoyment from watching this film. And honestly, they should have made this into an animated series because you could tell a lot more story with that. And generally, just after 20 minutes, I had stopped caring about what I was watching. At the end of the day, this one could have been real special, but this was during a time when video game movies were massive disappointments. One thing that I'm baffled by is how could they get this film so wrong? Like literally, the formula is in the video games. Those offer hours and hours of enjoyment. But this 94 minute movie just bored me, really. And I just couldn't understand like why they couldn't make this more entertaining. Like, literally, the friendship between Ratchet and Clank is non-existent. They spend most of the film like apart. And then I just didn't see their friendship, unlike the video games where they've been together for many adventures. And here, it just doesn't feel earned, you know? It's like watching somebody playing a video game, but then you notice how bad they're playing. That's how I felt watching this movie, just downright disappointment. Captain Quark, he was annoying, and I know he is like that in the video games, but here, every time he made a joke, it just wasn't funny. And speaking of which, I didn't even laugh one time. The animation to this, it looks DVD quality. The villains, Dr. Nefarious and Drek, they were awful. They were forgivable. In fact, Drek himself was turned into a sheep. I was like, are you serious? Some of the humor is juvenile. And I know some people will probably be saying, hey, Slim Dude, maybe they made the film for children. But as long-time fans of the video games, they would downright despise this. Like, there's nothing good about this film, really. Is it one of the worst video game movies I've seen? No. Believe it or not, I have seen worser. But overall, as an anime film, I just couldn't get behind the story, the lack of character development, and just everything about this just screamed awful. Do yourself a favor, if you're a fan of the video games and you haven't seen this one, then skip it because believe me, it is certainly not worth the time. I'm giving this film a 4 out of 10. Thank goodness they did not make a sequel because it was not necessary. Everything you need to know about Ratchet and Clank are in the video games, and the character development is a whole lot better than this movie ever tried to do. And to make matters worse, the weapons that are used in the video games, they do show up here, but they are barely used at all. And Ratchet don't even platform whatsoever. This movie is not fun. This one was not made for fans of video games. It was made by a movie company that didn't know its source material whatsoever. Overall, when it comes down to it, this video game movie is a snooze fest, and nothing really good ever happens in it. And that is my review of the film Ratchet and Clank. All right, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. In fact, what is your favorite Ratchet and Clank video game? Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying peace out.